This is Erling Haaland, but he's playing for AS Monaco, Mbappe's first club. And here's Kylian Mbappe at Erling Haaland's first club. We're going to swap their careers, simulate them through, and see if they swapped paths, who would end up better. And I'm going to simulate it all through at Derby, just so I don't influence their careers at all. Mbappe is starting at a slightly worse team, so he'll probably get more first team chances. He might even get a run in the first team in the first season, which is very rare. But Erling Haaland, on the other hand, probably won't even get a single appearance and that might stunt his growth you see these players are going to follow the exact same career path as the other in real life so Erling Haaland is going to follow Mbappe's career path of moving to PSG when he's 19 years old and Mbappe is going to go to Salzburg at 19 Dortmund at 20 and then Man City at 22 after that anything's game they can go wherever they want I'm interested to find out who's going to win the Ballon d'Or as well because Mbappe and Haaland are going to compete for the Ballon d'Or but they normally do it now in 2022 it's going to be a couple of years before they even get good so I'd be interested to see who's going to win the Ballon d'Or instead of the pair of them. Three Real Madrid players and Messi. Okay, it's probably going to be Benzema. Yep, there you go. Kareem Benzema wins the Ballon d'Or. And now what we're going to do is sim to the 1st of May, go and check on both of our players and see how they're doing. And after simulating through year one, we're now the Monaco manager. Let's go and check on Erling Haaland. That feels really weird to say. I might say Mbappe once or twice to make a mistake. He is still here. 68 overall. He's gone up plus five. Potential to be special as well, but zero appearances. Ben Yatter had a monster season, but Erling Haaland and Ivan Tony didn't really do anything. Wouldn't be completely worried about it though. Next year he's going to go to PSG but in the case of Kylian Mbappe he's also 68 overall. They've both gone up plus 5 and he is onto the bench here from Mulder but he's not starting. He's going to move away next year as well. Also because Norway is cold they run from January through to December as opposed to September to August so Kylian Mbappe has only played 4 games so far but the most amount anyone has played is 13 but he hasn't scored as of yet. At least he's playing though. He got games in his first season. That's very impressive. And just like that we're already into season two. We're going to move at a pretty fast pace until stuff happens and explosions occur. Okay, that's a slight exaggeration, but we're just hoping for something to happen. I'm going to go to the Ballon d'Or again and see who wins it because Benzema and Messi are just going to get old. But I fear by the time Benzema's gone, Vinicius is going to take up the mantle. Mbappe and Haaland might just not win a Ballon d'Or. It's time for the Ballon d'Or. It's like three Real Madrid players. No, it's not. It's Son and Kane, Valverde and Vinicius. Oh my God, the Spurs player is about to win the Ballon d'Or maybe. Check the big board. It's a Spurs sign. It's Harry Kane. Oh my God. Harry Kane just won the Ballon d'Or. In 2023, I'd love to hear a speech. It is the year of our Lord 2024 and we are still at Derby. We're going to go to Molde and see if Mbappe is still here. If he is, he's going to where? It's Salzburg. But if he's not, well then he's still going to Salzburg. He's 19. He's following the career path. And Mbappe is here. 74 overall. Actually higher rated than the other two strikers. Well, joint highest rated. Pretty damn good. 19 years old. Almost a gold card already, which is amazing. And seven games and four goals. Okay, so he's definitely scoring. He's moving on to bigger and better things. He is going to Salzburg. But what about Haaland? He is not starting. Not on the bench. He's here. 74 overall. So the same rating as Mbappe. They've grown the exact same in the first two years. They're now both 19 years old and still zero appearances. And you know what? He's going to PSG. Unless the wheel can stop him. That's right. We have a wheel. For every trophy that our players win, they get to spin the wheel of transfers and doom. If they get a transfer, they move away to one of the top 100 clubs in Europe, which will be determined by a random number generator. For example, 38 is AS Roma. So Haaland would probably go there. If you're confused, please stick with me because I promise it is simple. And AS Monaco did win League 1, so they are going to have one wheel spin. However, there aren't in any European finals. For some reason, the Champions League final is Sporting Lisbon versus Liverpool. I don't know how they got here. All right, Erling Haaland wheel spin. We're not going to get a transfer. And what we're going to do now before we influence this club anymore is release Erling Haaland and go to PSG and sign him. So yes, Erling Haaland is going to a really big football club and he probably won't get game time immediately. However, because PSG are so good, they are going to win a lot of trophies, which means he'll have plenty of opportunity to move away if he gets lucky, of course. He could end up staying in PSG for the rest of his career, but the chances of that are minuscule, maybe zero. And there we go. Erling Haaland is a PSG player. And here's Mbappe. He's getting released to move to Salzburg. And Kylian Mbappe is a Salzburg player. So Erling Haaland has now made all of the moves that Mbappe made in real life. The rest is purely up to speculation. Where will he go? How will he interpret Kylian Mbappe? 
Mbappe's career into his own model. Let's go and find out. Also, let's see if Mbappe can make a difference in this RB Salzburg team, because I'll be honest, he's going to start very, very quickly. Now is the highest likelihood of Mbappe or Haaland getting a move away from their current club just naturally, because they're young and have loads of potential, but their values aren't completely inflated so that nobody can afford them. They could end up at some really, really big clubs. What about the Ballon d'Or this year? Any luck? No, of course not. Three Liverpool players and Vlahovic. So we've gone from white jerseys to red jerseys. Darwizzi up for the Ballon d'Or. Come on. Oh, Salah. Okay, fair enough. And in there would be Salzburg. Mbappe is 79 overall. So just as good as the strikers that are actually starting. Is Mbappe actually playing? He is, yes. 31 games, 20 goals and four assists is very strong. He's played more or less the entire season top score for the club. What a season for Mbappe. Oh, a championship round, but they're eight and oh, oh my God, they're just gods. I think they've already won and they're not in Europe, but PSG are. We better check out Haaland. But before we do, we need to release Mbappe. That's right. Leaving Salzburg and going to Dortmund unless the wheel can stop him because he did win a trophy. Is Mbappe going to Dortmund? It looks like it. We're here with the ugly ass Bundesliga theme. And just like that, Mbappe is a Borussia Dortmund player for two years until he goes to Manchester City. Erling Haaland is actually still at PSG. He's not been loaned out anywhere. Let's go and see how he's done. And here we go. He'd be delighted to know that their best striker, Victor Ossiman, is on the bench. More or less just as good as Mbappe. Actually slightly better, funnily enough. As the second, third best striker in the club, he got zero games. So Erling Haaland is 20 years old, an 80 overall footballer. Hasn't played a single professional game in his entire career up to this point. That is absolutely mad. But he will keep getting better. He's keeping up with Mbappe and Mbappe is getting games upon games. PSG did win the Ligue 1, so they're going to get a trophy for that. So let's spin the wheel for Haaland. He might be better off getting a move away from PSG. He's not going to get a transfer. He's staying at PSG. Ballon d'Or. There is a slim chance that someone will get nominated and it doesn't come through. Ferran Torres, Kai Havertz, Usman Dembele and Rafael Leao. Really rogue nominations this year. Feels like it's normally the guys that get nominated and just never win the Ballon d'Or. So who's going to win the Ballon d'Or of failures? It's Kai Havertz. Yay. I'm going to go straight to Dortmund and check out how Mbappe did. I am fascinated to see how this man got on in the Bundesliga. And he's not starting. Alexander Isak is actually starting. Mbappe 84 rated, but on the bench. We'll see now from his stats if he's actually starting. Yes, yeah, seven games and one goal because Isak is just a monster. But next year, Mbappe will be good enough that he'll probably start financially. 97.5 million. So this summer is kind of the last chance for any other club to just buy him straight up. He's just going to become too expensive and nobody is going to be able to afford him. With regards to standings, they do come second in the Bundesliga to Bayern Munich. Nothing in the Champions League, but PSG are there again. And it doesn't look like Haaland starting. Oh, he is because his stamina is low. 84 overall. It should be like this instead of Messi. So funnily enough, Haaland's playing for PSG, but Mbappe's not even starting for Dortmund. He is the second best striker. 12 games and six goals is not a lot, but Ossiemen went crazy. Oh my God. Haaland didn't even play in the league. 12 appearances in the Champions League. He's played every Champions League game, but not a single league game. That makes no sense. They're winning league as well. Monaco on their tails. And they're in the Champions League final against Manchester United. We're going to watch it. And then the biggest game in club football. It's the Champions League final. It's PSG versus Manchester United. Haaland in a PSG strip looks so wrong, but here we are. Let's go. And here comes PSG. Messi is hanging up the boots, but here comes Erling Haaland trying to take the mantle. Oh, Ros on the edge of the box. Good save. Hereda is stupid. Jan. Yes, he's a PSG player. And Aussie man. What a ball to Vitinha. Here comes Manchester United. It's Anthony into Schick. What a save. If Dupignan doesn't know what to do, he's just running about. He tries to boot it away and worked perfectly. Paul Pogba in the middle for PSG, by the way. Pogba into Aussie men, into Haaland, into Oroz. Oroz with the weakest shot in UEFA Champions League final history. And it's half time already. Nil nil between the two heavyweights of European football. Hakan Kalanogli plays through Anthony. It's the big chance. Why would he pass that? Why would he pass that? Why? Here comes Lionel Messi on for Oroz. Can he make an impact? It's Aussie men, Haaland, and Messi. Pogba. Aussie men! Goal, there we go. PSG take the lead. It's not Haaland. It's not Messi. It's Victor Ozyman and Paul Pogba combining to make the difference. And here comes Manchester United. Marcus Rashford trying to come back straight away. Bang, one all. They barely had the lead for a second. Now's the time for a hero. Who is it going to be? PSG lose it high up the pitch. Here we go. Rashford saved. And Haaland comes off in the Champions League final. Wow, that's a big call. Here we go. Pepe though, the man who just came on for Erling Haaland. Can he prove himself when it matters? 
matters the most. What a save. Rebound, Messi. Of course it's Messi. This is like four years down the line since 2022. It, this is now like 2026. Messi is just scoring in a Champions League final at like 41. This man is just ridiculous. Granted, it was a scabby rebound, but it had to be Messi. Maybe it wouldn't have been Messi if Haaland was playing. Maybe Haaland would have scored the first chance. Pepe to Messi again. Can he do it again? Saves. Pepe. Aussie man. Goal. Game over. PSG are the Champions League winners. Erling Haaland is a Champions League winner, but there will be a small part of him thinking, what if? What if I stayed on the pitch and got that chance? What if I played better? He is. He's absolutely skied it and it's over. PSG are the Champions League winners in 2026. Not watching the trophy lift because Haaland's not really going to be that much involved. Erling Haaland won a double. He gets two wheel spins. So here we go. Spin one. Erling Haaland's not having the best time at PSG, although he did just win the French League and the Champions League. Something Mbappe hasn't done yet, but he's staying after the first spin. We're just going to spin it again and he's staying again. It's actually the World Cup. Of course, France are in it, which means Mbappe is going to be there. Norway are also in it. Okay, let's see if either of them can make any splash in the World Cup, I suppose. Well, France got through their group, but Norway did not. So Haaland's gone. And France got bounced by Brazil. Both of our players are gone already in the round of 16. Not the best World Cup for them, but they haven't quite peaked yet. Mbappe is moving at the end of this year to Manchester City when he turns 22, which means we're going to have a PSG player and a Man City player, which means we're going to be in and around the Champions League basically every year, which I'm very excited for. Hopefully they'll play each other in a Champions League final. That would be amazing. He is still at Dortmund, 100 million in value. We're already at day two of recording and Anthony's nominated for a Ballon d'Or. Reality is crumbling as we speak. He's not going to win it, right? Okay, good. Raphael Leao wins the Ballon d'Or. But I think it's only a matter of time before Mbappe and Haaland get in there. Okay, we're here at PSG, but Erling Haaland is not here. Oh my God, where's he gone? Haaland's already deviated from real life. Where is he? Erling Haaland, 22. Napoli. Oh, interesting. He's gone to the Italian League. 87 overall, 22 years old. And here we are at the Napoli team. Patania is starting up front. Lukaku's on the bench. And here's Erling Haaland in the reserves for some reason. 87 overall. Here he is, Erling Haaland. Zero games. Okay, so he just transferred here. He must have. There's no way he sat on the bench for the entire year. Nothing for Napoli, so nothing for Haaland. And here at Dortmund, here with Mbappe. He is starting up front. 87 overall this season. 29 and 18 massive season for Mbappe. They're in the Champions League final against Spurs, but they came sixth in the Bundesliga. Oh my god, that's poor. Oh well, we simulated Erling Haaland's Champions League final, so we're simulating Mbappe's as well. Up to this moment, this is the biggest game of Kylian Mbappe's life. It's a Champions League final in the Metropolitano. Spurs versus Dortmund. Last time Spurs played the Champions League final in this stadium, Liverpool beat them. Can Dortmund replicate that? And can Mbappe win the Champions League just like Haaland did? This Dortmund team has loads of different players from all over the place. Brahim Diaz is here. Musa Diaby is here. Kylian Mbappe is here. Diaz, Mbappe, what a save. Wojciech Chesney plays for Spurs after playing for Arsenal. Does a Sol Campbell in reverse. Mbappe, oh, he's so fast. Roy's considering retirement. Why are you telling me this now? Mbappe, oh my God. Harry Kane down the right-hand side. Oh, he's got the pace. Great ball into Fatty. And to Fatty makes it 1-0. Tottenham Hotspur take the lead in the Champions League final. Mbappe and Dortmund behind. And it's halftime already. Mbappe with a terrible pass. Oh my God. Mbappe. Mbappe goal. One all. Kylian Mbappe replies to Ansu Fati. Tottenham and Dortmund are drawing in the Champions League final. It is not over yet. And remember, after this season, Kylian Mbappe is going to Man City. So this is his last chance to win a major piece of silverware for Borussia Dortmund. Oscar to Brahim Diaz to Mbappe saves. Here comes Ansu Fati down the left-hand side. Can he get past Tommy Yasu? Yes, he can. Skips by him like he's not even there. Ansu Fati on a crazy run. Sets back Harry Kane. What a save. And here comes Jared Bowen, the Conference League hero. Can he make it work in the Champions League final? Nah, but seriously though, that save was nuts. Taram, pass the last defender! wide. Oh my god, I thought that was in. Oh, millimeters. Mbappe is running out of time in normal time to snatch this Champions League final. And Ansu Fati's been taken off the pitch. And so is Mbappe. Oh my god, that's a terrible idea. So both Mbappe and Haaland have been subbed off. Gonçalves wide. Troy Parrott, great ball. Locatelli, Reguillon! Reguillon in the last minute. Champions League, 119 minutes gone. And Tottenham clinched it. Heartbreak for Mbappe. Conte's done a touch 
touchline dash and Mbappe's team, despite having scored himself, have fallen short. That's it. All over. Tottenham win the Champions League. And so unfortunately, Dortmund win no trophies. Mbappe gets no wheel spins, but he's 22 years old. So he's getting released and he's going to Manchester City. And just like that, Kylian Mbappe is a Manchester City player. All of the transfers that have happened in real life are now completed. We're just going to let FIFA take its natural course, see how many trophies they win and see if they end up anywhere else. Granted, Mbappe is with Man City, who are number one on the rankings. They also have Neymar, funnily enough. So Mbappe and Neymar all on the same team once again. And this is the Ballon d'Or this year. Three Real Madrid players, including Martinez, obviously got a transfer from Inter. Darwizzi Nunes is also up for it. The only Liverpool player. Darwizzi, come on. Ah, oh, it's Vinny. That's boring. So here we go. A full season of Haaland and he is 90 overall now with Napoli. 26 and 3. Good. Yeah, very good, but not like insane. In real life, he's definitely better. And Napoli finished 6th in the Serie A. Not a brilliant performance. And they got knocked out in the semi-finals of the Conference League. Really, they should be winning that tournament, I feel like. And here's a Man City team. Mbappe, interestingly, on the bench. He can play left wing, but I don't know if he is. He is the highest rated striker at the club. 17 games games and five goals so he's not playing. Colin Moan is playing instead which is ridiculous by the way. He's also now one overall behind Erling Haaland which is interesting. Rogers with an insane season and actually if you look at all strikers Guiri has 38 appearances so Mbappe's third string even though he's the highest rated. They do win the Premier League so there's one trophy and the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup and the semi-finals of the Champions League they lose okay but they do have three trophies it's still a treble. Oh that's a transfer that's gonna be a transfer. Okay we've got a transfer. I'm just gonna generate and see where we end up. Six, who's that? Internazionale. Who do they have as their striker? They have Jota and Lacroix. Okay, so maybe if Mbappe went there, he'd get more game time, but I'm gonna leave him at Man City for the moment, I think. Now, I don't want to get your hopes up, but this year could be the year for Ballon d'Or. As we've seen in the past, stats don't matter as much as overall rating, and our lads are now fairly high rated, probably about 91, 92 overall. Do any of them get nominated? No. Foden gets nominated for Man City, but not Kylian Mbappe, and Haaland is nowhere to be found yet. Oh, it's Phil Foden player of the year. Wow. Okay, there you go. They're the player of the year for Man City, but it's not Kylian Mbappe. I feel like now we've kind of gotten to the point where our players are too expensive to really get transferred anywhere. So they're just probably going to stay at the club that they're at unless they get transferred on the wheel. And here we go. Haaland, 92 overall. They've got no right winger. Apparently it's this guy. 23 and 4. Kvaratz Gelia got more. Interesting. Not incredible statistically, but at least he's playing football. In the standings, they could still win the Serie A, but I don't really think it's going to happen. Haaland's not had any wheel spins and I'm sort of fearful that he's going to stay here for quite a long time. Let's go to Man City and see how Mbappe did. Hopefully he's actually playing. And Man City are third in the league, but they could win the title. Interesting. And here's Kylian Mbappe. Still 89 overall. Hasn't gone up a single overall. He is not plateaued yet. Surely. 28 and 9. Yeah, he played every single game and he was the top scorer at the football club. This 79 rated guy is a god for some reason. They drew the community shield, so I'll give him that as a trophy. The FA Cup final is probably the weirdest one I've ever seen Hull versus Leeds. They have one trophy so far, but if they win the rest of their Premier League games, they are up for two, technically. But Kylian Mbappe on the final day of the Premier League is all to play for. Can Kylian Mbappe snatch himself a Premier League? They do win Mbappe in the last minute gets the win. Wow, what a game. And is it going to be enough to win the Premier League title? It's not. Chelsea won. Chelsea win the Premier League title. Man City have one trophy. That means one wheel spin. Oh yeah, they also have two more from last year that I forgot to do. So I'm just going to do them now. Nothing on the first one. On the second one, go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I don't think so. Nothing good. Okay, can we break the Vinicius bind on the Ballon d'Or? Three Barcelona players and Havertz. Who's it going to be? It's Nkunku with the Ballon d'Or. So funny with Mbappe and Haaland gone effectively. Nkunku wins the Ballon d'Or. But I'm hoping Mbappe and Haaland will be back. We're still not at their peaks yet. Man City have the Champions League theme. So they are in the semi-final against Liverpool. And they won the first leg 2-0, which is a good sign. But in the Premier League, how are they doing? They are second, one point behind United with three games to go and a goal difference advantage. They could really catch up here, but so could Spurs or Chelsea. One team that probably won't win the Premier League is Liverpool, but they do have them in the Champions League semi-final. Can they win? Win. Yes, another 2-0 no win. They're into the final. Who do they have? AC Milan. Interesting. An Italian team, but not Napoli. And Manchester City have won both of their Premier League games. Are they top of the Premier League? No. So did Manchester United. And it comes down to this. Blackburn are last in the Premier League and Man City have them to play. So they should beat them. And they do a 3-0 win. Mbappe, Chiesa and Foden. Did Man United win? No, they didn't. No, they didn't. And Manchester City win the Premier League. That's one trophy for them. Mbappe's gone up five overall this year. 94 rated. I told you he wasn't finished. 
29 and 9. Very good. We've already watched the Champions League final from Mbappe, and we've already watched the Champions League final from Haaland. Haaland won his, and Mbappe lost his. Can Mbappe amend for past sins and win the Champions League? Yes, he can on penalties. Oh my God, what a game. Mbappe went first and scored his penalty. Foden missed, but it didn't matter. In the actual game, Mbappe with a brace. 96th minute extra time, and 66th minute as well, just to draw it level. So that's two trophies from Man City. We'll spin the wheel twice, but I don't really know why he would leave. So I'm not even going to bother spinning the wheel because there's no point. There's literally no other club that would be better for him. He's reached the top of the pyramid. I don't know what to tell you. Last season, Erling Haaland was 92 overall. Now he's 95 overall. 26 goals. Not even the top goal scorer at his club. That's Kvalat Skelia. Still a pretty good season, I guess. However, did they win any trophies? Third in the Serie A, but 75 points for all of the top three. That's ridiculous. You'll be delighted to know. It's World Cup time, baby. I feel sick. Norway are in a group with Portugal, Canada and Finland. And here's France with Romania, China and Mexico. Probably the easiest group ever. We're going to sim through the break-in simulation or whatever the hell you call it. And we'll see if both of our teams are still in the tournament. France top their group, but Mexico go out. That's a bit of a shame for them. And Norway get through as well. Six points. Lovely. And in the round of 16, France got bounced and Norway got bounced. Oh my god. They're doing terribly at the World Cup. Really surprising for France as well because, I mean, France are one of the best teams at football. Them doing port in the World Cup is a real shocker. Let's go to the Ballon d'Or. I really think this could be the year. I know I've said this like almost every year. Yes, okay, we have Mbappe. Two Real Madrid players, two Man City players. One of them is Kylian Mbappe. We have a chance. Surprising considering Haaland is probably higher rated. However, with all due respect, who cares? Come on. Yes, that's Mbappe. Kylian Mbappe wins the Ballon d'Or. Okay, it only took like, what, eight years? And Haaland has gone up again to a 96 overall. 13 and four though. This Branco dude almost actually caught up to him. That's crazy. He's entering his prime years now, 26 years old. Mbappe will be as well, but 13 and four just doesn't cut it for 96 overall. And as you might expect, they did terribly in this area. Seventh overall. Man City won the Super Cup, so they get a trophy. And they're also winning on aggregate against Spurs. And Napoli aren't even in the Conference League. This is actually painful. And just like Erling Haaland, Mbappe's 96 overall, but a much better season, 28 and 20, 48 contributions in 56 games is world class. Not quite top scorer though, Chiesa, even though he's 84 overall, 40 goals is bonkers. They are top of the Premier League, 69 points. They're probably going to win that. Just the one trophy so far, but the Prem will be the second and the Champions League might be the third. They've AC Milan again in the final. Oh, Man City just lost two league games in a row. This is on. Oh my God, they've bottled the Prem. Oh my, that was the biggest bottle job I have ever seen. Okay, they could still win it, but they need Liverpool and Arsenal to both drop points. A 3-0 win, Kiesa, Kiesa and Mbappe, but probably not going to be enough. No, it wasn't. They came third. That is incredible. How have they managed that? That's the biggest job I've ever seen. They lost to Leicester and Arsenal. And they now have AC Milan and they're playing in the London Stadium. Yeah, West Ham's home stadium. That's where they're playing this Champions League final. They go back to back penalties again. Mbappe converts his penalty and scores twice in the game. Just like last time. That's freaky. It's time once again for the Ballon d'Or. Mbappe won it last year. Can he do it again this year? Oh, he's not up for it. Oh, Ferran Torres and Kunku Vlavic and Gakpo. Haaland's kind of playing at a not great level. I mean, he is playing in Serie A with Napoli, but he could be with one of the best teams in the world, like a Man City, but he's not. He could have stayed at PSG, but he didn't. And now he's suffering. Vlahovic wins the Ballon d'Or. Back to the trap, back in Napoli. And they're in the Conference League. They have Anderlecht to play. They're also in a cup final. Okay, they've improved. 3-1 win over Anderlecht as well in the first leg. They're ninth in the Serie A, but they're in the Coppa Italia final. Man City made the Champions League final again, and they won the Super Cup. Okay, that's ridiculous. I shouldn't have given them Mbappe. 4-1 win. They have Lille in the final of the Conference League, but they win the Coppa Italia. There we go. So Napoli get a trophy. Are they going to get another one here against Lille? It's the biggest game of Haaland's career. It's the Conference League. Fight. It's not even close to the biggest game of his career, but he wins it anyway. Kvaratskhelia with a goal and Haaland with a goal in the first half. Napoli get two trophies, the best season they've had yet, but it's two opportunities for Haaland to move away. And here we go on the first wheel spin. He's going to stay. And on the next wheel spin, oh my God, it's going to land on transfer. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, Haaland's free. Okay, let's go. Let's generate... 19, who's that? AC Milan. All right, we'll just send him there. So he's gone from Napoli to AC Milan. That's pretty good. I mean, they were in the Champions League final twice, so they must be decent. This is the current team. Ekatike is starting up front, but obviously that's going to be Haaland. Dolan on the wing, whoever that is. Rafael Leao. This is a very, very strong Milan team. Hopefully they can put it up to Man City in the Champions League once again. I would love to see a Champions League final of Erling Haaland versus Kylian Mbappe. And here we are at Man City. Mbappe is now 98 overall, so he's higher rated than Haaland. And how did he do? Oh my God. What a season 
64 games, 58 goal contributions, and a Champions League final to boot. Okay, so they won the Premier League, they won the Carabao Cup, and the Super Cup, and the Champions League. So they did a what? A quadruple? Four wheel spins from Mbappe. We're not doing four wheel spins from Mbappe. There's no point. He's literally the best player in the world on the best team in the world. Just watching Mbappe be great is amazing, but I do want to see Erling Haaland put it up to him. I think he can make a bit of a late career surge here and maybe take the mantle from Mbappe as the most successful player in the simulation because Mbappe is definitely winning at the moment. Two Champions Leagues under his belt. Granted, he did lose one final. Well, three Champions Leagues now after this year, but neither of them have done well at the World Cup. And 2034 is right around the corner. I don't think it's this year, but it may be the year after. And it's fascinating to see. Hopefully, one of our two superstars at the peak of their powers can go the whole way. Likelihood is it's going to be Mbappe because France are better than Norway. However, I wouldn't write Haaland off. Ballon d'Or time. Any luck? Yes, we do. We have both Haaland and Mbappe. Finally, there we go. It's one or the other. I mean, it could be Foden and it could be Vinicius. They have both won Ballon d'Ors of their own during the simulation. The only person nominated who hasn't won one is Erling Haaland. It's Kylian Mbappe. That's a second Ballon d'Or for the Frenchman and Erling Haaland is slightly falling behind, maybe? And here we are at AC Milan. Haaland has not got any better. 97 overall. 28 and 8. So, yeah, really good, but for, like, the best player in the world, more or less. Raphael Leao did outscore him and out assist him, and he's, like, 11 overall worse. So that makes no sense whatsoever, but how did they do? Oh, my God. They came fifth in Serie A, pain. And they lost the EA Sports Super Cup, but they're in the final of the Coppa Italia, and they're in the Champions League final. Wow. Napoli are in the semi-final of the Europa League. I hope they lose and burn and die. And let's go straight to the Champions League final because they're not going to win the Serie A. Can they win the Coppa Italia? Yes, they do. There's one trophy for AC Milan. Barcelona sweep them. Kulisevsky with a brace and Ferran Torres. Barcelona win the Champions League. And here is Kylian Mbappe, 98 overall with Manchester City. 37 and 18. Yeah, see, that's a bit better. Not top score at the club though. Chiesa was at 79 overall. This game is so dumb. Hold on, I got to do the maths here. 71 contributions in 61 games. He's 35, not even 80 overall anymore. The man is a monster. How does that make sense? But Man City do win the Premier League and the Community Shield and the FA Cup. They don't win the Carabao Cup, thank God. But they do win the Super Cup, but not the Champions League. It's Barcelona who win that. I bet you thought I forgot. He's not getting anything in the first one. But I know what you're asking. What about the Ballon d'Or? You're not asking that, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Mbappe's nominated, but Haaland is not. Torres always gets nominated. That's amazing. But I don't think he's actually won it yet. Also, Ponce is the first auto-generated player to get nominated for the Ballon d'Or. Look, Mbappe's got two Ballon d'Ors. He's probably going to win this one. Yes, he does. That's three Ballon d'Ors for Kylian Mbappe. Man City, Mbappe, 29 and 18. Another brilliant season. They have no Chiesa this year. They do have Harvey Elliott, though, for some reason. Phil Foden's the top scorer, but Mbappe is the top assister. I think that both of them are just working together to try and win stuff. Doesn't seem to be going too great, though, because they are fourth in the Premier League. Ah, uh, but they did win the Community Shield. No Champions League final. Liverpool versus Monaco. Liverpool beat Man City in the semi finals. Interesting. They also have Garnacho on the left. They have this Cabore guy with the trim of the century. Haaland's still here. 97 overall. So interestingly, Mbappe is just the higher rated. 25 and 7. Really good in Serie A. 23 goals in Serie A. I don't know. I was kind of expecting more. However, they are currently winning this Serie A, which is very good. They drew the EA Sports Super Cup, so I give them that, I suppose. No Coppa Italia. No Super Cup. And obviously, no European tournaments to show for it either. However, it is a World Cup year. Do not forget about that. But AC Milan have one trophy. Well, they do currently. They need to secure it first. A win in this next game would do it. A win against Parma seals it. They are Serie A champions. And oh my God, that's going to land on transfer. Okay, it's about to go down. Haaland is basically in the prime of his career, but he's not quite over the hump yet, but he's almost over the hump. He's about to, what, 28, 29? World Cup year is about to happen. Haaland is about to get a mega transfer. Where is he going to go? Where is he going to go? 44. He's not going to go to Lille. He's not going to go to Lille. He's going to stay at AC Milan because AC Milan are far better. France are top of their group. They win their first game against New Zealand. And Norway are... Where are Norway? Oh my God. Norway aren't in the World Cup. I am scrolling through it here. If I miss it, I deeply apologize. But no, they're not in the tournament. Haaland is 97 overall and did not qualify for the World Cup. And in the round of 16, England knock out France. Are you kidding me? The semifinals, Ukraine, United States and Argentina, Ghana. What the hell? And there we go. Argentina win the World Cup. No shocker. They're the only like world-class team left. USA got to the World Cup final and got to 3-2. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Absolutely stupid. Okay, fair. But with regards to the Ballon d'Or, Haaland's in there and Mbappe's not. Okay, so Mbappe's in the World Cup, but Haaland's in the Ballon d'Or. I'd be surprised if he wins it. But Kaio Saka's in there as well. Can he get one back? 
Yes, he can. Erling Haaland wins the Ballon d'Or. So we have both of our players winning the Ballon d'Or. I suppose it's only fair. Let's go and visit the Ballon d'Or winner first. Erling Haaland, 32 and 12. That's pretty good. 44 contributions in 52 games. Very, very good. That's the best we've seen so far, I believe. 246 million in value. So he has decreased. Obviously, he's also age 30. They've just crossed the 30 year old threshold. Any luck with results? They are 12th in the Serie A. Absolutely appalling season for Erling Haaland. But they did win the EA Sports Super Cup. But they did make the Europa League final okay can they beat Aston Villa they lose 3-1 any luck for Erling Haaland can he get out of Milan no he can't to be honest probably not the worst thing Milan's a lovely place and all that Mbappe has not regressed at all 98 overall 30 years old 37 and 15 is bonkers some of the most games played out of anyone as well in the club top scorer in the club as well Garnacho not too far off him though so pretty good from him they're both 30 now but they did win the Carabao Cup against Swansea City oh you think I forgot about the Ballon d'Or you'd be silly here we go Mbappe is nominated as well as Lacroix Coley and Havertz. The Croy and Coley are auto-generated, of course, so we're currently in the era of cyborgs and AI. Can Mbappe hold them off for another year? Yes, he can. Kylian Mbappe wins another Ballon d'Or. This guy just won't stop. And AC Milan are in the Conference League against Atletico Madrid. That's a massive tie. But let's not worry about that right now. Haaland is still 97 overall. No regression in sight. 31 years old. 31 and 7 in all comps. Pretty damn good. They're currently third in the Serie A and they're not going to win the title. Roma have ran away with it. They are in the final of the Coppa Italia though. Champions League could be Manchester City. Europa League, it could be Liverpool. Conference League, it could be AC Milan. And we're going to sim through it all. They do draw with Atletico, get through, and they lose to Juve. And then the final, they have 1907 Cluj. I actually don't know where they're from. I think they're Romanian, but that's a complete guess. And Haaland wins. I mean, he doesn't score and gets subbed off, but Milan win. Any luck on the wheel spin? No, it's going to stay again. Mbappe showing no signs of regression. 31 years old, 98 overall, 30 and 20, 50 and 59. No shame in that at all. Top assists at the club, top goals at the club, the main man at the club. Also the Ballon d'Or winner. But they win the Champions League on penalties. So they win something, I suppose. Counts for something. Kylian Mbappe once again showing why he is good at the whole football thing. Once again, we're at the Ballon d'Or. Who's going to win it? No Mbappe, no Haaland. It's just Makoko and auto-generated players like it normally is at the end of these simulations. We may not see them in the Ballon d'Or ever again. I think they're 32 by the end of this season. So maybe, but I don't think so. Man City are in the Champions League. The animation is playing. That's what this is. I think it's going to be the semi-final. Yes, it's Dortmund. First leg was a draw, so it does come down to this leg. Is it going to be Mbappe and his broskies, or is it going to be Dortmund? It's going to be Mbappe, 84th minute winner. 6-5 on aggregate, 4-3 in the night. What a tie. Did I just see what I thought I saw? Hold on, just give me one second here. Rotherham United are in the Premier League. Oh my God. That's the most rogue club I've seen in the Premier League ever. Wow. How the hell did they get here? They have a decent chance of winning the Premier League, but it's by no means nailed on. They are second. In the final of the FA Cup, they won the Super Cup, and they're in the Champions League final. Final. Mbappe himself is still 98 rated. No regression at all. 39 and 17 is a mega season. 56 contributions, 58 games. And here we are, AC Milan. Haaland's down to a 92. Oh my God. He has absolutely plummeted. Five overall this year. 16 and nine is not great. Although he has played every game this year and he is top goal scorer at the club and top assister at the club, but they've just done terribly this year. Yeah, 11th in the Serie A is abysmal. What's interesting to see is that Erling Haaland's after regressing five overall, but Mbappe's just as good as he was. He's still 98. He was better than Haaland at his peak. He's regressing slower. Not even regressing at all at the moment. So we'll see what happens. But I think Mbappe could stay better for longer. Interesting to see who retires first. Interesting to see if either of them can still win the Ballon d'Or. On the way down, you can be really low rated and still get nominated and possibly even win the Ballon d'Or. I've seen 80 something rated players win the Ballon d'Or. And remember, next year is a World Cup year. So let's hope Norway actually qualify this time. I said they could get nominated and they did. Mbappe got nominated and three auto generated players. Player of the year, it's not Mbappe, it's Colley. 95 rated Senegal, Real Madrid. God, what a beast. Once again, it's time to laugh at Haaland and smile at Mbappe's brilliance. However, Mbappe did not win the Ballon d'Or this year and he definitely could have, but Haaland wasn't even nominated. And honestly, I'm slightly underwhelmed by Haaland in total. Mbappe's been incredible, what, four Ballon d'Ors, multiple Champions Leagues, league titles, basically everything you could ever want. So he went down five overall last year and then nothing this year, 27 and 10, 37 and 39 is not bad. Top goal scorer was Gavi from midfield. They came second. Oh, there's still time though. They could win the Serie A. But let's submit the remainder of this Serie A season. I think Bergamo Calcio are top of the Serie A. They lose to Roma. It might be the Bergamo are four points clear. Let's have a look. Bergamo are two points clear. Okay. If Milan win this game, they overtake Roma 
and Bergamo Calcio and go top unless Roma can win themselves. It's the finale to the Serie A season. Can Haaland pull through when it matters most? No, he can't. Oh dear. But Mbappe has slightly regressed. One overall granted, but it does count. 36 and 16 is really good. 52 and 59. And one thing that I haven't really checked is player stats. Kylian Mbappe is sixth. He is up there. And Man City are top of the Premier League. They do win the Premier League title. Champions League, no, it's Newcastle versus Real Madrid. Lost on penalties in the semi-final. But since it's 2038, yeah, we're that far into the future now. It's a World Cup year. I don't even know if Norway are in there. I kind of hope they are, of course. France definitely will be. Can anyone get past the round of 16? Fingers crossed. In the group stage, Norway do get through and France also get through. Round of 16, Norway and France played each other. Oh my God. Ah, France won 2-0. Okay, I'm kind of good at I missed that, to be honest. Let's just assume Haaland had a stinker and Mbappe scored both of them. Quarterfinals, France beat Morocco. So in the semis, they have Brazil. Okay. And we're in France. And this is what the France team looks like currently. Lacroix is not playing. Mbappe is. Odebert is not playing. Cherki is on the left. And here we go. Brazil, the 14th of July, 2038. Brazil versus France, World Cup semi final. Can France get through? No, they don't. Brazil win the World Cup semi final. They're into the World Cup final. France crash out. Nothing for Mbappe, sadly enough. And can they win the third place playoff? Yeah, they come third. Great. Now we're coming to the end of their careers. Haaland did have a big regression out of nowhere for one year. Don't really know why that happened. Mbappe also had a slight regression last year. So they are going to start tapering off over the next four or five years. We'll see how they do. And here we go. Will there be one last dance for our superstar players? Yes, there will be. Mbappe is nominated again with three auto-generated players. Can he hold out against AI taking over? Can he win a Ballon d'Or? And Kylian Mbappe wins the Ballon d'Or again. This man will not quit. 33 years old Ballon d'Or winner. And at AC Milan, Haaland's got better. He's 93 overall. He's gone up one overall. He's 34 though. 33 and 12, 45 and 49. Not bad. Did they do good? Did they do bad? Ah, they didn't do good. He came fifth top scorer in Serie A. And Mbappe is down to a 95 overall. So he is slightly getting worse. But I mean, Ballon d'Or winner. So take it with a pinch of salt. 95 overall, 24 and 10. Not the most insane season I've ever seen. Not top goal scorer of the club or sister. It's modest Traore. Not modest at all because he's a beast. Sorry, that was absolutely terrible. How did they do in the Premier League? They came first. Wow. Still a couple of games to go, but for all intents and purposes, they came first. Also, FA Cup final. Man City win the rest of their games. They win the Premier League and the FA Cup. That's two wins. They lose Everton, batter them, and they beat Brentford. Okay, so they won the Premier League. So as I said, their careers are kind of starting to wind down. However, Mbappe just won a Ballon d'Or, and I wouldn't be surprised if one of them maybe wins another one. Will Mbappe or Haaland move? Will they just retire really early, or will they just stick around like Ronaldo did until like 43? That was a joke. Look at this image, by the way. It's me and Mbappe with the Premier League trophy on the table. That is not what I look like whatsoever, but you get the point. We're at the Ballon d'Or again, but I'm highly fearful it's just going to be auto-generated players. Oh, Mbappe's holding out. This is brilliant. Mbappe is still there for the Ballon d'Or. He's not gone anywhere. He stayed at Man City for a very, very long time now. Can he do it? Yes! 34 years old, Kylian Mbappe. 91 overall, so he's still regressing, but he wins the Ballon d'Or again. This man is a monster. He's a god amongst men. He's a deity among mere mortals. I don't know how he does this. Killing Mbappland, that's my manager name, and my game is winning trophies when other teams do all the work and I just show up for the final. Haaland is 88 overall. Okay, so the regression really has begun. He's gone down five overall. 30 and six is not bad though. Top score at the club. Oh my God. Okay, so they've done terribly. Ninth in Serie A. Nothing in the Coppa Italia. Nothing in the Champions League or the Europa League or the Conference League. Mint. Top scorer in the Serie A was Garcia. Haaland was seventh top scorer, tied with Moretti. That's what the Man City team looks like now in 2040. Harvey Elliott's still here. Tonali's still here. Marit's still here. But Mbappe, 90 overall. 20 and 11. So still very good, but not quite the dizzying heights he was at. No longer top scorer and top assist. They're modest Traore, not modest at all because he was better than Mbappe. That's the exact same joke I've already made. They are currently top of the Premier League, but Arsenal are on their tails. No community shield for them either. Let's see if they can win the Premier League. If they win the next two games, they do it. Spurs, congratulations, Man City. You've won the Premier League. Ballon d'Or time. Is Mbappe still there? He is. Oh my God. I don't think he's going to win it this year, to be completely honest, but I hope he does. Ballon d'Or is it Mbappe? It's not. It's Lacroix from Inter. Unfortunate. I think the age of Ballon d'Ors for Haaland and Mbappe, well, mainly Mbappe, is over. We're at Man City again. They won the Prem. They won the Community Shield. No Champions League. No Europa League with Chris Palace. And no Conference League with Leicester. But how did Mbappe do? And how much did he regress? 86 overall. So he's definitely down seven appearances. Oh, it's happening over the course of like one season. Nerling Haaland is 85 overall. He just keeps getting worse and worse. 19 and 9 and 50 appearances. Not incredible.
level, but he's old at this point. 35, 36 years old even. I can't speak. Milan are up in the league though with Haaland doing worse. We can just move on again. There's nothing much really I can say. Ballon d'Or, Ballon d'Or, Ballon d'Or. Is Mbappe there? He's not. There's a Man City player there, but it's not Mbappe. We are full of auto-generated players. The final domino has fallen. Mbappe is gone. And I don't care who wins it because it's auto-generated player. It's just going to be some random guy that nobody has ever heard of and nobody will ever hear of ever again. And it's a sad sight to see. Mbappe's 83 overall. Five appearances and no goals. Oh, it's so sad at the end of these simulations to see how far they fall. But fourth in the Premier League. Community Shield is not bad though. Although Milan are in the Conference League semi-finals. Haaland is 83 overall so still very good about the same as Mbappe I think 30 and 5 pretty good season top scorer and one of the best assisters in the entire club what a monster of a player he is I could actually see when Haaland gets older him turning into like an Ibra style player they're tied at the top of the Serie A as well this is incredible where did this come from and they're in the Coppa Italia final so let's just sim it all out and see what happens they need wins in the Serie A they need wins they win the Coppa Italia and I don't think they won the Serie A and they lose the Conference League final but they did win the Coppa Italia Italia. Right, let's get this over and done with. Oh my God, he's going to move. He's going to move. That's a transfer, right? Oh my God, he's moving. Okay, here we go. One from a hundred of the best teams in world football is going to get an old ass Erling Haaland. Ready? 36. West Ham United. Perfect. Okay, let's just send him to West Ham. I could unironically see Haaland actually moving to West Ham at the age of 37. I don't know why. It just seems to suit him. I can't explain it. And the B-Tech Andy Carroll moved to West Ham for free. Kind of fascinating to see now. Mbappe and Haaland are in the same league, but Mbappe's not playing and they're both old as hell. Let's see how they do next year. But first, we do have the World Cup. However, I'm very concerned that neither of them are going to be on their national teams. And we are here at West Ham. Erling Haaland is here, 82 overall. Crucially, not on international duty, which means Norway have not called him up. Even though Haaland's not there, let's go and see how Norway did. They won their group. France also won their group in the round of 16. France got through over Argentina. Norway got knocked out by the Netherlands. Great. And France lost to Germany. Okay, so they all did terribly. I'm sure Mbappe wasn't really playing for France either. So here we go. Here's the Ballon d'Or. And yeah, unsurprisingly, we have no one. It's four auto-generated players. We are in the age of AI. Let's go to May and see how our players are doing. The Manchester City captain is now that dude on the right, whoever the hell he is. Mbappe is 80 overall, 57 pace. And he played eight games, two goals and an assist. So at least he scored. No trophy for Man City this year at all. And Erling Haaland is 79 overall, not the best player at the club, and one appearance in total. Top score with 34 and 14, very good. But Erling Haaland, nothing really. I mean, he played in the Carabao Cup. Does that even count? And West Ham are actually in the championship. They got promoted. Well, they're about to get promoted, I think. And they're not in any cup competitions and they're not going to be in Europe so no trophies but at least I'll be back in the prem next year that's crazy I didn't realize it's 2043 now and I'll be honest the boys could just retire this year I wouldn't be surprised they have a combined like six games between them in the entirety of last season so I wouldn't be surprised if they just call it quits are they still going Erling Haaland is still here 38 years old but he's a free agent oh no okay he's just chilling at Man City but he's retiring at the end of the season oh okay I reckon Haaland could retire at the end of the season as well to be completely honest let's sim it out and see where they end up and yeah Mbappe's still here but he is retiring zero appearances for the entire year it's a sad sight to see he said he's starting on the team sheet but he's not the schmidt guy is starting and he realistically should be he's much higher rated man city doing okay in the prem they won the community shield i suppose that counts for something they're in the fa cup final as well and the champions league final oh my god what a year can they send mbappe off with a bang can they get a treble in the books they beat brighton so they win the fa cup and they beat swansea they are in for the premier league title but they did need other teams to slip up around them did it happen no it didn't that is such a shame no trouble for Manchester City. However, can they do a double of an FA Cup and a Champions League? Mbappe's final game. Can Manchester City do it against the Europa League merchants? No, they can't. Saeed with a goal in extra time and Sevilla win it. Gutting for Mbappe, but his football career has come to a close. So if you go to team management and scroll down, yeah, Mbappe is not here. It's all auto-generated players. And if we search him up to make sure he hasn't transferred anywhere, there we go. No luck. But Haaland, is he still around? No, he's not. He's retired as well. The career is over. Let's have a quick recap. Mbappe won like five Ballon d'Ors. Champions League a couple times. However, he did lose in the final. It has to be said, Mbappe had a better career. Haaland won one Ballon d'Or. However, his stats at the club that he was playing at were really good, obviously. But they weren't like insane. They weren't like Mbappe level, I don't think. I think Mbappe's were better. So I'd have to say Mbappe had a better career. So if you swap Kylian Mbappe and Erling Haaland's careers and you make them play each other's careers, Mbappe has a better career. I said the word career there a lot. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If 
if you enjoyed it, then check out this video where I took Ronaldo and Messi's career and swapped them. So Ronaldo played for Barcelona and Messi started at Sporting Lisbon. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.